Hello and welcome. My name is Sham and I'm going to talk to you on how to prepare for your first AWS certification. First things first, why am I creating this video? Well, when I started preparing for my AWS certification, I had a bunch of questions in my mind. Those questions were like these. How do I start preparing for the exam? Do I need to purchase the materials? Do I need to subscribe to an online course? Which certification track is best for me? How long do I need to prepare before I take the exam? These were the questions that were going on in my mind when I started preparing for the AWS certification. In this video, I'll attempt to answer all those questions and give you some valuable resources to get started with your AWS exam preparation. Let's begin. First question, why an AWS certification? Well, cloud is the buzzword today. Almost everyone in the IT industry is talking about the cloud. More and more organizations are moving into the cloud. There are organizations who have fully moved into the cloud. There are organizations that have partly moved into the cloud and partly they are on-prem. While there are some organizations who are in the decision-making process of moving into the cloud. Almost every organization is considering moving fully or partly into the cloud. And these are because of reasons such as availability, scalability, ease of access, cost savings, and so on. Now, AWS or Amazon Web Services is the market leader in cloud computing. They were one of the first to provide cloud computing services. AWS holds more than 50% of the market share when it comes to cloud computing. That means they are ahead of all their competitors put together. AWS certified candidates are high in demand. As more and more organizations consider moving into the cloud, or as more and more organizations move into the cloud, you need engineers who can manage the operations in the cloud. Since organizations are preferring to move to AWS, you need more AWS certified engineers. In the past few months, I've personally noticed an increased number of IT engineers showing interest in AWS certifications. Some of these IT engineers are just new into the industry, while some of them are seasoned IT professionals. If you're new to the industry, having cloud as a skill is fantastic. It's going to add a lot of value to your resume. If you're a seasoned IT professional, that's going to add more to your existing IT knowledge. It may also provide you a career change option. Finally, on the list of top paying IT certifications, AWS is on number three. Now, all of these are really strong and good reasons to pursue an AWS certification. On the screen right now, I have the AWS certification tracks, and I've taken this picture from AWS's website. On the left hand side, you have the main tracks. You have the architecting track, the developing track, and the operations track. In each of these tracks, you have an associate level certification. So you have the AWS Certified Solutions Architect, Associate, you have AWS Certified Developer Associate, and you have AWS Certified SysOps Administrator Associate. Once you pass the associate level exam, you are then eligible to take the professional level exam. Interestingly, the DevOps and the Operations track, they have a common professional level exam. Notice they both have AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional as the professional level certification. On the right side, you have the specialty certifications, which were launched recently. You may take one of these certifications once you've completed an associate level certification. One common question that I get from students, which track should I start with? To all my students, I have only one answer. Start with AWS Certified Solutions Architect, because that is a certification that gives you a high level understanding of the important features of AWS. It prepares you from an architect perspective. An architect is expected to suggest a solution to a problem. And that is what the AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate exam prepares you for. It teaches you the different products and services available from AWS at a high level so that you can suggest or you can architect a solution using AWS. So if you're wondering which track you should be starting out with, my suggestion is gonna be the AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate. Some common questions when you start preparing for AWS. Number one, 
Do I need to know programming? The answer is no. You do not need to have any programming experience to prepare for AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate. Do I need to have prior cloud knowledge? Well, if you did have, that's going to make the task easier for you. If you do not have cloud knowledge, that's absolutely not a problem because you will learn all about the cloud as you prepare for your certification. How many years of experience do I need? AWS recommends that you have at least two years of experience on AWS. However, that is not a mandatory requirement. You may just be new into the cloud world and that's okay. You can still prepare and attempt the examination and it's not going to be very tough for you. Do I need networking knowledge? Well, if you did have networking knowledge, one of the topics is going to be very easy for you. For example, we have a topic called as VPC or Virtual Private Cloud. That is a topic that heavily focuses on networking. If you did have networking knowledge, you will find that topic very easy. If you did not have networking knowledge, it is not going to be very difficult for you to get that knowledge to understand VPCs and similar topics. So the answer is, you don't have to, but if you do have networking knowledge, that's going to help you. How long do I need to prepare before attempting the exam? This is my personal opinion that you should have a good two to three months of preparation before you attempt the examination. Very important, how should you start with your preparation? Number one, start by reviewing the exam blueprint. The blueprint is a document published by AWS that lists all the items that you should be aware of when you're taking the examination. In the description section of this video, I'm going to leave you the link for the blueprint. Carefully review all the items in the blueprint so you have a good understanding of how you should approach your preparation. I recommend that you prepare in iterations. Three iterations of your preparation should be enough to prepare you for the examination. I'm going to present to you my strategy. Feel free to have your own. On the first iteration, prepare notes and perform the labs using the getting started guides and FAQs. Make sure that when you're preparing the notes, you've covered all important areas. On your second iteration, fine tune your notes. Make sure that you've not missed out on anything and perform the labs without using any guides or any notes. On the third iteration, revise your notes one more time and start taking practice exams. Why do you need to take practice exams? Because on the AWS certification exam, questions are not straightforward. Most of the questions that you encounter will be scenario-based questions. They'll present you a scenario, you'll have to understand the scenario, and you'll have to answer those questions. So these are not straightforward questions. When you take those practice exams, you'll be mentally prepared for those kind of scenario-based questions. Exam preparation strategy. I recommend that you practice each day for one to two hours for a total of two to three months. That should put you in a good position to attempt the examination. Three iterations is a good number, but you could have your own. And finally, practice the exam questions. Some resources for the examination. Number one, the exam blueprint. That is the most important resource for the exam. Number two, you have the AWS official study guide. I'm not going to recommend this to you at all because all the information that you're looking for for preparing for the exam is there on the AWS website. The AWS documentation contains all information in a very detailed and clear, concise manner. You don't have to purchase any study guide. But if you are one of those who needs a book to study from, AWS does publish the official study guide. Number three is the most important, product documentations and FAQs. All information for preparing for the exam is available in product documentations and FAQs. If you know where to look for, you don't need to buy any study guide or you don't need to subscribe to any online training. Number four, the AWS free tier account. AWS gives you a free tier account for one year to practice the labs. Not everything is free but you have a bunch of services which you can try for free and that is enough for preparing for the exams. And finally, the certification URL 
the page where all the information about certification is listed. I am planning to create an entire video series to help you prepare for the AWS Certified Solution Architect exam. The biggest challenge in preparing for an AWS certification is the lack of direction. The AWS website has all the documentation, examples, and exercises listed, but it does not give you a direction. It does not tell you where to start and how to approach the preparation. In the upcoming videos, I intend to give you a direction and all the required materials for you to prepare for your AWS certification. I'd appreciate it if you could put your questions, your feedback, and your comment. That will help me to give a shape to the video series that I'm planning to launch. If you're looking for specific content or specific guidance, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll reply back to you. I look forward to hearing from you and I'd like to wish you best of luck while you prepare for the AWS certification. Thank you.